If you could weller any weller, what weller would you weller? I'm so sorry, guys. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to review Weller 12 Year. Yep, so this starts our long, magical journey down reviewing Wellers, all of them. So we put out there, what, I guess it was like a, a couple weeks ago at this yeah. point, maybe a month ago-ish. Because yeah. um, we get asked a lot to review Blanton's and Weller and, and stuff like that, and I didn't want to just review both because that's a lot of reviews throughout the year. And But we want to try to get some out that you all obviously wanted, so we put it up for vote. And I had three options to review all these Blantons, all these Weller, or don't review anything at all. And I thought the, or none of them, or whatever it was. I almost thought that was going to win for like a very short period of time. And then Weller came back and just won. Weller won. So, here we are. Weller always wins, doesn't yep. it? <laughs> well, They're always the winner. Oh, Sazerac by Flo Trace. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, this, if you don't know what the black label is, this is Weller 12. This is supposed to be the hardest one of the most available, like the available group. I would, I, around here, I have a, a tendency to agree that this is the hardest of, of the available, of, of the available which group. I find is comical because if you think like none of them are available unless like you live in Ohio, right? And then you can find them up there. And see, Ohio people say that. I don't know where you all hear all this information, but there is nothing going on in Ohio. Nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nothing to see here. No one's behind the curtain. But for the longest time, uh, Special Reserve and Antique and Weller 12, those are like your three yeah. basic. And then just every couple of years, they kind of add one. Uh, still waiting for the Weller Toasted. Mm, I'd, I'd enjoy that. No, you'd enjoy a Weller Honey. Uh, yeah, I'd probably enjoy that too. Yeah, I'm. Oh my gosh, if that happens, yeah. I'm so sorry, everybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, everybody else is in the honey game. Yeah, might as well. True. Leave in the comments below which uh, which one you all would uh, want them to do, and uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, you know, all the fun stuff. All the good stuff. But yeah. So, anyways, they're all at the end of the day. They're all hard to find. They are all hard to find. Honestly, the hardest one for me to find, oddly enough, is antique. I've found, I yeah. think I've gotten like two bottles of this in the wild, and I've only ever sniffed one antique. So antiques kind of like pre-COVID, you know, I could pretty much get a monthly around here. Yeah. Can't hardly find those anymore. Well or 12 for years you couldn't find around here. Yeah. Um, and that's not counting like CYPB and Weller Single Barrel. Actually, those kind of dumped in our market over the yeah. last year or so. Yeah, they have. So, but yeah, Weller 12... Uh, for a long time was actually the hard one to find, kind of in our area. Well, our foolproof and antique picks, we, uh, what, monthly almost? Mm -hmm. Like, those hit a lot. Yes. But doesn't mean we always get them. Just no. you see them out. You do or see not them. see them out, but you, you see yeah. them hit the Facebook groups and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, for sure. So. So on to Weller 12, review number one. What's going to be review number two? Uh, I don't know. You'll let us know down in the comments below what you all yeah. want. I'm going to be honest with you. If I can get a WLW, like, that was kind of my goal to lead that with. Oh, that would be awesome. But, but that like, one's not really yeah. available anywhere. They're, none of them are available. <laughs> but So you were going to start with the most unavailable, unavailable one. Well, it was kind of my favorite, so that was the fair, that I was mean, the one I was going to lead yeah. with, but it didn't didn't happen. It happens. I mean, right away, like I mean, that's just got a, a, a really vanilla y you know, very vanilla caramel kind of nose to it. Mm -hmm. I think that's the thing that's always stuck out with me to uh, with uh, twelve with Weller twelve. Yeah. There's some fruit on there. By yeah. the way, we didn't really even talk about it. You know, it's 90 proof. It's 12 years old. Yeah. And if you can find it, in theory, MSRP is like 40 bucks. Yeah, 40 bucks. In theory. In theory. In execution, however. <laughs> Secondary is like two, 250 Yeah. I think. I don't yeah. know. Something. Maybe a little bit north now, just because it appeared in Yellowstone one time. Oh, yeah. yeah I forgot about so, that. Went through the roof. So, yeah. yeah it smells good. I, I will say, as much as people give um, a hard time to Weller and stuff like that, because people go crazy for it or whatever else. Yeah. has a good nose. It does. All right. 
I just can't get away from the vanilla and the fruits. Again, I think the vanilla goes through to the to the palate. It's uh, real kind of oaky, oaky vanilla to it. That mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's good. It's almost like a uh, there's like a so you still have some of that fruit, but then there's like a really light cheesecake now, like strawberry cheesecake. Ooh, now you're gonna put that in my head. I don't know. That's so why I didn't say anything until after you, uh, you, you were you, done. You know, honestly, like, if you if you can find this, this is a good one to have on the show. Always. Well, it's very welcoming. Yes. It's easy to drink. There's a little bit of finish on there, but hardly nothing. Nothing about this is offensive. No. This is, I mean, this is one of these, like, for your buddies who are getting into whiskey, this is a great bottle for them to try. Because like, oh, man, that's actually, there's no, there's really no harsh notes about it. No. Um, it is, it, that, that's, I, I mean, that's a huge part why it's sought after and it, yeah. no, regardless of where you're kind of at in your bourbon journey, I think at some point in time, everybody goes through that, that point where, you know, they're hunting Blanton's and hunting Weller and stuff like that. I was talking to my buddy Troy today about this. Like at some point in time, you know, you get all of this, like what they say, tater kind of bottles, right? Yeah. yeah. And at some point in time, whenever you're looking at all your collection that you have, you're like, man, I'm super proud of that. And yeah. you should be, you yeah. should be super pumped about it. Like, you know, we all... We've all been in groups where they poke fun of that, but like at the end of the day, if you like what you like, it's yeah. fine. And again, everybody's somewhere in their journey. Right, like yeah. it's like some people just starting out, still trying to find Henry McKenna and and like freaking out over it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's man. I think all in all, if you can find this for forty dollars, it's a buy all day long. Yeah. Man, that there's such a red fruit Jolly Rancher yeah. note on that palette yeah. too. Um, yeah, I mean it's it. Look, for me, I don't go crazy about this bottle. No, but I don't think it's it's not so offensive or whatever. Where I'm like, oh, skip it, guys. You don't have to worry about it. it, it it's nice on the palette. Like I, I don't have one negative thing to no. say no. about anything on the palette. Sure, I'd want more in the finish. And you know, whenever you but it is, it, a, it's good. But, it, but it is, I mean, at the end, it is a forty dollar bourbon. So <laughs> MSRP. Yeah, but <laughs> what, what I'm saying is, like, it's not meant to be this. Sure, that's true. The perspective of the perspective yeah. of what you're what you think that you're I mean, getting. It's a screw cap. Yeah, <laughs> it is a screw cap. <laughs> uh, again, nothing about that is bad. I'm just saying, like, yeah, it is a forty dollar bourbon. At the end of the day, who it drinks smooth. It drink. It has a lot of good. Uh, I think welcoming, especially for younger palates, the vanillas, the caramels, yeah. the fruits, like it's so smooth, it's yeah. easy, has just a bit of finish there on the end to let you like to go, mm -hmm. oh, all right, that yeah. warms me a little bit. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it, it is what it is and it's solid. Yeah, I'm kind of, I haven't had this in a long time. I don't think I've actually had this since, gosh, vacation a couple of years ago when we, a bunch of friends and like my family and my friend's family and all that, we all yeah. went down to Myrtle Beach. But I remember talking to some of them down there because they're not, they like bourbon, but they're not big into it. And they're like, this is amazing. And whenever I sit there and I think about it, man, this really is like a great starter bourbon. I, I wish yeah, it was it more available yeah. than what it was. Yeah. That, that's the thing that sucks about it is that the availability and it's not. Let's cross our fingers that it'll just be sitting on shelves here in the next few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> So, but anyways, obviously. Oh, oh that was, I, I couldn't even get through a full sentence on that. So, <laughs> All right. Well, uh, until the next time, we'll see you. We'll see you.